All right, guys, this is going to be some, some new player tips for uh, Street Fighter Duel, which is a game that just released. Um, if you're wondering who the heck I am, um, good question, <laughs> fair question. Uh, I make mostly Mythic Heroes content, but I've, I've been a very uh, competitive gamer for, you know, a lot of different mobile games, uh, you know, Clash Royale, um, Hearthstone, Marvel Snap. Uh, TFT, Team Fight Tactics, Legends of Runeterra. I basically hit uh, the the top tiers in in all of them. And and then when I play gacha games, uh, which I have a bad addiction to, I I try to push progress like as much as possible, and spend resources you know as efficiently as I can because I'm not a whale. Um, so and it you know I'm always trying to basically compete with whales. So my my mythic heroes I I started a few months ago. And the count is like really well developed. Uh, I spent like uh, quite a good a amount of money on it, and I actually think um, looking through this game, its systems are actually the most similar to Mythic Heroes. So I think I'm very confident. A lot of my experience in Mythic Heroes, uh, going through the whole new player, you know, maximizing efficiency thing, can translate to a game like this. So I want to give you tips uh, that can help. You know, I've been looking through the YouTube for this game see a lot of whack-ass bullshit um, you know content creators with with tens of thousands of followers just you know collecting sponsorship checks and making like fluff videos about this game but I want you to know you know you can't trust those phonies you know you need to trust losers like me with I don't even have a hundred subscribers on this account you know I'm not doing this for money I'm not doing this for accolades you know I'm doing this for pure love of the game here so I'm hoping I'm hoping you, you you know enjoy this and and realize this is a labor of love. Uh, unfortunately, my my Nox is a little messed up. Um, it's not showing the icons properly. But yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm gonna structure this video into uh, a number of tips. So the first tip that I have here that's really important. This is like the most important tip. Is is games like this. Um, so you see here, I just made this account for the purpose of this video. And you see, uh, I was put into a yellow. This is an older server. Unfortunately, the text isn't showing. I apologize. But basically, the newer servers at the top, um, you can always re-roll to a new server. And what happens when you join a new server is everything resets. So all of your spending, everything you've done has basically uh, you know, been, been meaningless. So I found um, for an obsessive min-maxer like me, every time I play a game like this, uh, I always end up wanting to make a new account on a new server with everything I've learned and then you know spend properly on on that account so I really think for games like this it's better not to spend too much at the start and just kind of play through the game and and learn the systems and then you know if you want to be really competitive I mean if you want to be more like casual free to play then just start whenever and just enjoy it enjoy your life but if you want to be like competitive or you want to be a dolphin you know, or you want to drop like 20 bucks, you know, on this game, um, I would suggest starting with one of the newest servers. And then if you want to be like really hardcore and, and push the max, then I think oftentimes it's better to play through the game and then re-roll on a server when you're, when you're ready with all the knowledge you have and then, you know, dump a bunch of money in uh, very efficiently that way. Because everyone who re-rolls on a server starts at the same time as you. So that's my first tip. Uh, keep in mind that you know you can always start on a newer server later and reset all of your progress. So it's not always the best idea to just instantly start um, spending, especially if you want to be competitive. Um, and the second thing tied to that is is rolling on a new server or starting. In games like this, um, you want to push. Basically, if you know if you have like a set budget in mind or set habits when you play games like this like let's say you drop like 20 bucks um, every few months or you know you don't spend at all or whatever the case is um, you really want to front load all of your actions in this game to make as much progress a as possible so this is just a, a demo account but in my main main account I've just unlocked like the dojo uh, which is a new system but it unlocks like passives which are on a timer and I unlock the bounty board which um, so basically, the the first few days of the game, especially if you're trying to like max progression, um, you know, like be one of the top accounts on the server, is you really want to go through and unlock all of the 
uh, features as soon as possible because a lot of those features are on either timers like the dojo or they give you like one free you know pool or attempt per day and um, actually I think going through the uh, VIP here would also show you this um, but it, it's pretty uh, it's pretty good glitched out right now so I don't even know if I can find it yeah so okay but if you go through the list of VIP features you can actually get a sneak preview of um, of everything that will be unlocked later in the game but you want you want to push through and try and unlock all of the features as soon as possible one of the biggest mistakes I see people making in a game like this is is they'll post like some screenshot of their bag where they think they're flexing so these games have these like you know 6x uh, resource collection kind of multiplier items um, and and they're tied to to your campaign progress which we're going to get into shortly um, in, the, in the tip but you never want to hoard in, in games like this because um, when you when you blow your resources as soon as possible um, it helps you build your heroes up and then when you build your heroes up and progress these idle times go up right but as the idle times go up the resources you generate go up too so it's like this loop where the more resources you put in the faster you progress and then the faster your resources are gener generated but that's doubly important for campaign because of all the, the features I was talking about um, you know like Shadowloo City here but but basically going through the story usually it ends up stopping you know in like some mid chapter like chapter 8 or chapter 10 or something and you'll have unlocked everything and then what happens there is this these games are very frustrating because at the end game they make you park at a stage for you know days weeks sometimes even months uh, of not really progressing in, in the story um, because you know they have to set up walls for for players so you're gonna hit a wall eventually but you should front load everything so my second tip is to front load everything and try and unlock every feature as, as fast as you can um, you know you should know your habits for for a game like this uh, I'm not saying like spend a bunch or whatever but you know if you normally do drop you know, if you love Street Fighter, if you think you're like, if you think, oh, I'm gonna drop, you know, 60 bucks on this over a year, you should just do it now and, and just push everything. Another thing too is the mastery VIP levels and this, you know, for your player status, uh, they they increase your passive rewards too. So um, it's always better to spend it now um, if you are gonna do it rather than later. Um, so that's my second tip and then my my third tip uh, closely tied to it is um, so this game you know is following more of the AFK arena where where the the deeper you progress the more your idle rewards go up it also shows you uh, your idle rewards going up you know like the next chapter threshold but uh, the items in this game so this is cash this is equivalent to like gold in the other games this is uh, experience, which is equivalent to experience in the other games. This is just player experience. And then there's one more item, which is uh, the breakstones, which is equivalent to stardust or um, I forget the AFK, AFK arena item. But basically, um, this game seems to be copying Mythic Heroes a lot. And I found in my experience here that gold is, is the most uh, important item. It, it's the item that's gated the most. And usually gold is actually... Um, I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> Usually gold is is easily convertible to almost every other item in the game. I looked at a store here. It is convertible to breakstones, um, which I would imagine most people are going to be buying this every day. The breakstones look very important in this game. But then also you see gold for items here. The store is like quite small right now. There's only items, so we don't really know uh, how it's going to develop. But normally in games like this, the gold ends up being like very versatile and, and usable for everything. And then the the breakstone, the purple item, if you can just visualize it, it's also really important and it's usually always severely gated as well. And the reason that gold and, and breakstones are more important than experience is that um, when, you, when you go to promote a fighter, uh, it's very binary. Um, if you have the breakstones or not so what what that means is man this is very annoying um, what that means oh man sorry about this um, what that means 
is so if you you know if you need 40 breakstones to promote a character you can have 0 to 39 breakstones and it means nothing you know if you don't have the 40 to pay the entry to bring them up it means nothing and oftentimes your cash and your experience aren't even usable until you you know progress them so that this is why breakstones are, are more important than experience in a game like this and this is also why gold is very important too because gold converts to everything and one thing to note about these three resources is you should always build them up at a level uh, that you're comfortable with like a natural progress because you know so let's say you buy an offer and then you pick like a bunch of of um, cat cash or experience What's going to happen is you run out of the other ones because you've unnaturally boosted this one. So if you buy a bunch of breakstones, you're not going to have the experience or the cash to, to do it. Um, in Mythic Heroes, I run into running out of cash the fastest, but but we'll see what happens here. But for now, uh, my guess would be uh, cash and breakstones are, are much more important than experience. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then the, the final thing... I want to point out in this video uh, before I wrap this up is um, the offers are very similar to Mythic Heroes. I haven't played AFK Arena recently, um, but the offers are, are very similar to uh, to Mythic Heroes, even down to this. I don't know if AFK shows this. I don't honestly. I haven't played that game in years, but this three thousand percent. Um, you know showing you the value of of your money um, is and you can see here this is a selector so you can pick cash experience or break stones um, and I would yeah but um but these offers are actually break downable into what they're actually worth this is um, this number is 300 by the way it's actually break downable and so I want to kind of help you um, pick pick the better offers in this game and I want you to also know, you know, what, what's coming in the future. So this draw right here is a generic draw. This is actually copied from Mythic Heroes, right down to the costs, which is funny. But this is a generic draw. You're going to get tokens like this um, through natural play. And you're going to be able to use them here. But I would never spend uh, diamonds or gems on, on this generic summon. So... Uh, what's going to happen is they're going to release a a new uh, summon type, and and I know this for a fact because at the bottom of your fighting VIP at the mastery 15 perk it says um, after unlocking choice recruit, and choice recruit uh, which is you know interestingly enough these are all called recruit right so faction recruit is you know you get to pick the color these tokens are usually very limited. Um, standard recruit is you know the normal one but then there's gonna be another one called choice recruit and in the choice recruit usually there's gonna be um, so in mythic heroes equivalent it would be there would be an a hero in the middle um, plus two B heroes on the left I think this one it would probably be like eight three a heroes I'm not exactly sure but sometimes you get to pick the eight a heroes not sometimes you you get to pick the a heroes you're pulling for that's why it's called called choice recruit and all of your gems should go into that one. I would imagine it's going to come out at some point. It's already in the mastery perks, so it's coming for sure. So don't use you know gems here. Um, use the tokens that you get for free. And then this is also copied from Mythic Heroes. But when you do this a hundred times, um, in Mythic Heroes you get four heroes you get to pick from, and then you get to do one of them. So I'm not exactly sure what the wish list is. I haven't uh, been able to do it yet on my main account. But um, maybe I'll update this um, when when I'm when I'm there. I'm halfway there right now. This is also co uh, copied from Mythic Heroes. So save your gems for the for the um, for the choice recruit, um, which is going to be a core game feature, I would imagine. Uh, it's just this game is new right now. But the th other thing I wanted to point out is um, if you go to here, hopefully th this shows up for me, but it probably won't. Um, if you go to the home screen and then you click the seven day thing. Okay, so there's this um, this right here. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry that you can't see it, but this is actually uh, 
you can buy five tokens of the of the regular standard recruit draws remember these are priced at 270 gems each and this cost is 150 so it's 50 percent off it looks like you can buy this daily uh so which means five summons is worth 150 gems and this is important because this is copied directly from mythic heroes and so i want to give you some advice on this um you know using like i basically the my point is i think that this uh game is going to end up being very similar to to mythic heroes but possibly even better because it looks like they're taking different elements of different games that they like and then designing it that way but mythic heroes is like a very well designed game of this genre everything's really tightly uh tied together and so this 150 uh discount is actually uh yeah the same as mythic hero so i want to give you some advice as someone who's uh has like a really strong you know top of server account on mythic heroes and just recently went through the new new player experience i want to give you some advice on you know spending and like the best offers to to spend so the first thing i would say is um you know i mean these games aren't, aren't honestly that great experience uh, for you to play this game might be a little better than the other ones but usually you want to spend a little bit um, because they do have vip systems and stuff um so i actually made a spreadsheet uh collecting all of the offers in this game so i want to kind of uh, walk you through that real quick and this is all jotted down but basically we're going to use the 750 uh the 150 diamonds per pool as a as a baseline for this um and and i think it's a good baseline because i definitely think the 750 for five is an offer that you want to buy every day because games like this you need um you need ascension levels uh what do they call this you need awaken levels on on all of your characters and so um the the trash that you pull which is all these blue b heroes you you call them fodder but um buying the the daily five pool and pulling on this one never spend gems on it but pulling on it gives you a bunch of fodder which you're always going to need to progress your account because you know the the high end of this game is is you need high ascension levels uh, you need to push all of your top heroes to the max so you're always going to need fodder you're always going to need multiple copies this wish list feature so basically you know you never want to spend the full price on this but 150 per is is a very good deal um so using that as a baseline here then i've actually charted out um some of the th some of the offers in this game so so the first ones are if you if you go here um one second while, while i try and find this thing i'm not like super familiar with the with with this game yet um uh, but there's there's a and by the way there's a lot of also cool features but there's there's this section called perks let me find it really hmm, that's actually funny it looks like it's actually not unlocked on my account yet the icon would be like right right in between these two it's this purple box uh, it's called perks but in that perks there's a there's a daily offer um there's travel perks uh which is basically twenty dollars for forty five thousand gems and then there's a recruit contract which is a hundred dollars and it gets you 10 recruit tokens per day for 30 days so it gets you 300 recruit tokens so i just have to look into this um daily offer and then there's a few uh uh things in this game such as ex moves that aren't in mythic heroes and i don't really know what they are so i still have to study them um i'll have an update on that in the future but basically uh wrapping this video up too by the way um yeah so working through the deals so those first two offers i mentioned the travel perks forty five thousand uh that gems for twenty dollars that's two thousand two hundred and fifty uh gems per uh per dollar here and then uh, and then it's advertised as three thousand plus so this is uh copied from mythic heroes it's copied from afk arena this is one of the best uh offers in the in the game you can buy um so this is kind of a baseline like 
right now what I'm doing because I might be competitive in this game later I'm already like super invested in mythic heroes I don't think I can do both games but what I decided to do for now is just buy most of the 3000 plus offers here um, this offer is advertised as 2000 percent this is the uh, 99 dollar deal this is a horrible offer um, because you sh if you've been following along you should you should treat each of the 10 pools as a 150 gems each instead of you know whatever price they did so then that ends up being actually funny enough the same gem value as the $20 off you offer you get 300 pulls at 1500 um, at 1500 gems per 10 so 30 pulls times 150 is, is 45,000 so this is only 450 gems per dollar you shouldn't buy this uh, recruit contract unless you're whaling but even then you probably find a better offer and then the two cards here um, are um, 300 gems per day times 30 days uh, for five dollars and then you also get one of the six hour uh, currency things this is 1800 gems per dollar and then the other one the premium version is um, 29,400 total per day uh, for 30 days 29,400 across 30 days, so it's 1960 per, and then you get 15 of the, I think it's the uh, B shard, which is still going to be useful for fodder. Um, so, so basically, uh, the 3,000 offers are are really good, and then anytime you run into an offer, so I got a pop up recently, um, but even if you go through you know the the mall like for for starter packs like this um or you know like these kinds of offers which are usually pretty bad but but for these offers here you can work out the math of of um how much they're worth so i'll, I'll actually do that for you right here so you know just just running through these because i'm just going to assume these are these are basically trash so i'm just going to ignore those and then the, the cars we've already talked about. Um, these are usually very bad deals in games like this. Uh, this is equivalent to like the Dimensional Hero in AFK Arena. Um, I think this is a, a very bad deal. I wouldn't buy these unless you love the character or you're whaling. Um, but okay, so let, like, let's go through this. So this first one is a 60A A Heroes. Um, this is also based on Mythic Heroes, but I would value the, the 60A Heroes at about uh, 2400 ish diamonds like something like that that's just a, a rough you know value that I'm using the equipment kind of complicates things a bit but this is about 2520 divided by one um, so this is a very a very good deal uh, sometimes this item will be priced at more like 1500 to 2000 but I think almost any way you slice it uh, this is gonna be you know 2000 plus diamonds um, even 1500 plus diamonds for one dollar is a very good deal so I would take that these ones are, are much easier so this five dollar offer would just be 15 times 150 the cost per each of those tokens plus 600 um, divided by five so this is 570 uh, per per buy here and and then this also adds some value this is very hard for me to evaluate but basically there's no way that the equipment chest is going to get this offer up to the value that you want assuming you're being strict like me uh, the chun li deal is also going to be uh, 20 times 150 plus 1360 so that's like um, only 436 gems per so then to get to you know let's say you wanted at least like i don't know 1200 gems per per value then that would mean that chun li plus d6 would have to be worth you know the the difference of that which is like around 8,000 um, I have my doubts but you know um, I would roughly value a specific uh, a hero in a game like this especially a super high tier hero like Chun-Li at anywhere from you know 6,000 to 8,000 diamonds so if I honestly if I was whaling in this game like if, if this was my main game I would probably buy uh, these offers here and I don't think um, the M Bison is going to be a great buy. He's almost priced like a ultra rare, like a different tier from 
A tier. A tier is like the highest tier in this game right now. But he almost looks like a like a higher tier. I'm kind of curious what um, they they plan to do with with this. But I almost feel like he should have been in a S tier class or something. But it looks like they're the same tier for now. This these offers are also copied from from Mythic Heroes, but uh, Mythic Heroes would have made him a different rarity from from Chun Li, which they don't seem to have done here. Although. This is a whole separate discussion. This video is getting long, but but this guy has the um, has this infernal faction. So maybe they're using the Yin Yang and the Infernal. This is Master. This is Infernal. Maybe they're using those two to make their guys more rare. I know AFK does does something like this. Who knows? But uh, my point is, um, you can actually evaluate how much every offer is in the game. And and the last thing I want to say is, you might disagree with this only being worth 150 because that's the minimum price on this but I found um, in, in games like this like if you play long enough eventually you're gonna hit um, all of the heroes you need and so I really do think the 150 kind of floor value you could price them at like 200 per even and say they're slightly worth more than the minimum value um, you can kind of do it however you want especially if you're trying to nudge the number so you can spend a little more um, which I do sometimes, but um, for now, I'm personally sticking to only buying um, offers that are giving me like, you know, 1200 plus gems per dollar, 1500 plus gems per dollar. Uh, so those would only be like the 2000, you know, 500% kind of deals. I'll update this as it goes along. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, I hope there was some good stuff for you. Uh, this video ended up going way longer. Than I thought it would. But thank you for watching guys. I would love any feedback you have here.